Hi guys, so we'll continue with our Tibby Alice Thursdays. Three sets of 20 Tibby Alice raises on 10 per leg ATG split squats and 10 knees over toes squats. If you just want to elevate your heels, you can, or if you actually want to try and really do the full range of motion knees over toes squats without using that hill elevation, you can do that as well. Um, recovery option for the day is 20 minute conversational um, pace with a T spine overhead focus. Um, 30 seconds T spine can opener stretch, either using a wall ball or a foam roller. 10 alternating thoracic rotations from the bottom of your squat. 10 per or 5 per arm kettlebell windmills. 10 banded pass throughs. 10 hip push ups. 10 empty bar behind the neck strict presses from either a jerk grip or a snatch grip, whichever one you want to work on that day. And again, you're just moving through this 20 minutes, working on opening up that thoracic mobility and that overhead mobility. Um, we're changing up intensity for the next um, probably two months, just prepping for that Friday night, kind of Friday night lights, um, open workouts. So Thursdays, for, instead of intensity now, we're gonna have barbell work, either that's barbell cycling or just barbell strength work. So for the day, you're doing five minute EMOM, um, of a power clean plus a hang squat clean. So you will do a power clean, take it down to the hang, and then do a hang squat clean. You will not drop the bar in between reps. And then three by three clean pulls. Um, that's after that, you just work on that shrug, developing that trap strength. And then for the EMOP here, take your time building that. It should be roughly 75 to 80% of your one rep max power clean. Um, it's just a quick little EMOP, just getting used to you cycling that barbell and moving that heavy. Heavier barbell while a little bit fatigued and which